Okay, in this lecture we will try to work out a problem related to pore water pressure equation. Okay. So, here the problem given is a soil is isotropically consolidated at a cell pressure of 600 kilo Pascal. So, there is a cell pressure of sigma 3 equal to 600 kilo Pascal. Please note that it is consolidated. So, if it is consolidated there will be no pore water pressure, pore water pressure will be equal to 0. We will understand this uh, when we discuss more about triaxial uh, testing which we will see in the next lecture. With drainage valve closed, now we have closed the drainage, cell pressure is increased to 720 kilo Pascal in a pore water pressure and resulting in a pore water pressure of 115 kilo Pascal. Please remember the soil is close to saturation, so there will be changes in pore water pressure and hence after the drainage valve is closed, when you increase the cell pressure to 720 kilo Pascal, so then sigma 3 1 that is the next stage it is 720 kilo Pascal and this results in pore water pressure U3 1 is equal to 115 kilo Pascal. The sample was then subjected to loading. So, without opening the drainage valve, the soil is subjected to loading to give a deviator stress of 550 kilo Pascal. So, deviator stress sigma d is equal to 550 kilo Pascal. What is deviator stress? The stress in addition to sigma 3. So, that is deviator stress which is applied axially. The pore water pressure at the end of the test was 262. There is a total pore water pressure at the end of the test. So, U f is equal to 262 kilo Pascal. Please make a note here, you need to understand the question very carefully. We need to know whether the pore water pressure is in excess of the confining or right from the beginning to the end. So, here there is no mention and it is clear that pore water pressure at the end of the test means pore water pressure, it is total pore water pressure that has accumulated, cumulative pore water pressure or in the soil sample. So, we are asked to determine the pore water pressure parameters B, A, A bar and B bar and this is what we do actually in the laboratory. For a given situation or a, for a given soil at a given depth, we will find out using triaxial testing what is its pore water pressure parameters. This pore water pressure parameter values can be used for any other numerical modeling or whatever. So, this value can be input and when I say parameters mostly I uh, I am associating it to the parameter A because B if it is saturated we know it is 1 or depending upon the partial saturation we will know what B value is. So, here change in confining stress delta sigma 3 is equal to 720 minus 600. So, that is what it is here, it is equal to 120 kilo Pascal and change in pore water pressure for the confining stage. Please note this is confining stage is 115 kilo Pascal because initially it was 0. So, this is for confining stage. Now, we can use the pore water pressure equation delta u is equal to b delta sigma 3 plus a delta sigma 1 minus delta sigma 3. Now, please make a note here nothing has been told about the uh, saturation of the soil sample. So, it, we cannot uh, really assume B equal to 1, we need to determine it and we have whatever delta sigma 3 is there and delta sigma 1 is equal to delta sigma 3 in the confining stage. So, first let us see the confining stage and this condition we know. So, B is equal to delta U C upon delta sigma 3 and both are known so, substituting we will get B is equal to 0 0.958 which is very close to saturation, okay, but uh, not equal to 1 and practically in the lab it is difficult to obtain the value 1, it will be close to 1, maybe something from varying from 0 0.9 upwards is all 
expected for depending upon the type of uh, clays the, or maybe if it is silty. So, as it becomes more and more clay, it is difficult to achieve B is equal to 1. So, anything around close to 1 is considered to be saturated. So, next is the loading stage. So, we have determined B. So, that B value we have to use B is not equal to 1 here. So, delta sigma D is equal to now this is the loading stage. So, we have delta sigma D is equal to delta sigma 1 minus delta sigma 3. Here delta sigma 3 in the loading stage is 0. So, because during ap the application of deviatric stress there is no change in the confinement it remains same. So, delta sigma 3 is equal to 0 that gives delta sigma d is equal to delta sigma 1. Again substituting it back we know the value of b delta sigma 3 is 0. So, that will give 262 minus 115. Please make a note here we are considering only loading stage. So, we cannot take the cumulative pore water pressure. So, we need to deduct the confining stage pore water pressure. Now, 115 one, one is delta U C is equal to 115. So, we are trying to uh, minus this from the total pore water pressure so that you get the pore water pressure corresponding to the deviator stress application equal to 0 0.95 to 0 plus A into 550 because whatever is the change in deviator stress that is equal to delta sigma 1. So, that we have seen here. 550 minus delta sigma 3 which is nothing but 0. So, here it will be B into A first that is A bar we have seen we already know that A bar is equal to A into B. So, here B into A that is A bar that is equal to A B equal to 262 minus 115 by 550 which is equal to 267. And please remember this is due to the understanding that delta sigma 3 equal to 0 and delta sigma d is equal to delta sigma 1. So, A bar is equal to 2.267. So, A can be found out by dividing it by B which is equal to 0 0.279. So, we have determined B, A bar, A. Now, what is left is B bar. Overall pore pressure parameter B bar. B bar is equal to B into 1 minus 1 minus A 1 minus delta sigma 3 by delta sigma 1. What is delta sigma 3 by delta sigma 1? This is the stress ratio. Now, here uh, please do not go by delta uh, just like that for stress ratio. Stress ratio indicates what is the ratio between the total the uh, uh, vertical stress that is major principal stress by uh, or it is uh, between delta sigma 3 by delta sigma 1. So, it is minor principal stress upon major principal stress. So, do not go by delta here because it is the overall stress applied onto the soil. In the previous slide we have seen delta sigma d is equal to delta sigma 1 that is only for that deviatrix stress change that is for the loading stage. Here the stress ratio corresponds to the overall uh, stress that is applied during the whole course of the test. So, here we will have sigma 3 and sigma 1. So, what is sigma 3? Sigma 3 is 120 kilo Pascal because that is what has been applied and sigma 1 is equal to 670 kilo Pascal. In the previous slide it was delta sigma 1 is equal to delta sigma d. So, that is why it was 550. Here it is the overall stress that is acting which is 670. Okay. So, that is uh, which comes from here. So, sigma 3 is there on the soil sample and sigma d is sigma 1 minus sigma 3. So, sigma 1 is equal to sigma d plus sigma 3. So, that is the overall stress acting on the soil which is used for determining the stress ratio. So, sigma 1 minus sigma 3 is equal to 550. So, sigma 1 is equal to 550 plus 120. So, I have just forgotten the delta for the time being just for you to uh, understand that it is the overall stress which is acting on the soil sample. So, here it is delta sigma 1 is equal to 670 which comes from here. So, substituting this we will get B bar is equal to 
0.391. Alternately, you can also determine B bar is equal to delta u upon delta sigma 1. You need not go for this particular equation and delta u is equal to 262. So, that is the cumulative change in pore water pressure. So, in the previous slide, we have uh, splitted it into confining and loading stage, but overall pore pressure parameter, we will consider the overall pore pressure change which is equal to 262 upon the uh, delta sigma 1 here is the total delta sigma 1 which is equal to 670. So, that will also give the same result 391. So, either of these equations we can use. So, that is all uh, related to port pressure equations and its estimation. So, this problem we have discussed just to give you a feel of how the estimation of port pressure happens and how this can be used further. Please make a note that this information is very important when you deal with module 3 and module 4. So, before going to module 3 and module 4, please revise these portions properly so that we can use these information in the subsequent modules. So, we have now completed uh, the discussion on pore water pressure and uh, in the next uh, lecture onwards, we will see uh, the shear stress of soil very specifically, which will be more like a bit of repetition from your undergraduate portion, but with more interpretation. Okay? So, that is all for now and uh, we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.